What's up mobile devs? I hope you're doing well. Today I want to share with you this wonderful metable animation made entirely with React Native Skia. The first time I saw such animation I was really impressed and expected a really complex implementation. However, you will be quite amazed by how simple the code behind such animation is. Before proceeding, I would like to mention that the trick behind this animation is heavily inspired by the approach used by William Candillon to build the GUI effect in one of his videos. In the video description you can find the link to his tutorial. To be honest, I made an almost identical animation for Patreon a few months ago, but I think that in its simplicity this animation introduced so many concepts that can make it easier for me to make other YouTube videos on Skia. However, I would sincerely like to thank my patrons for their amazing support. So if you're interested in such animations, follow me on Twitter where I actively post previews of my Patreon animations. That said, we can finally move forward and get our hands dirty. So here I've created the React Native project with the Expo, and I've already installed the React Native Skia package and the React Native Skia gesture package. So basically, uh, of course, uh, I think you are already familiar with the React Native Skia package, otherwise it, it's not, of course, a problem. Uh, instead, this uh, React Native Skia gesture package is a very simple uh, package that I've made in order to handle gesture interaction along uh, React Native Skia components. We are going to see in a while how it works. So first of all, here, let's get rid of all these components and let's use the React Native Skia Canva. So let's add this style with the flex equal to one, background color equal to, let's say, almost black. So here it is. And let's add a skia circle. So for now, let's help. Let's get the help from Copilot. And let's specify color equal to blue, as always. So here um, we want to center the circle to the center of the screen. And in order to do that, I'm going to use the use window dimension hook from React, uh, from React Native. Here, let's get the width and the height. And let's define here the center X as a skia value. So with the hook use value from React Native skia, let's specify here window width divided by two and here window height divided by two. So let's pass these values right here. So uh, let's parameterize also the radius. Let's define here the constant radius equal to 80. And here we are. So uh, at this point, uh, the idea is that uh, we want to be able to have a second circle placed on the center of the screen and we want to be able to move a circle to interact, to pan the circle around the screen. So let's start from the second point. So in order to interact, to move, to touch the, the circle, the main idea is that we need to import the touchable from React Native Skia gesture. So here it is. And then we can use the touchable circle. So the touchable circle is going basically to be a Skia circle that can be uh, moved along the screen. So in order to interact with the circle, we also need to update the Canva in a touchable Canva. So here we are. So that said, we simply need to define the gesture handler. So in order to define the gesture handler, we can use the hook use gesture handler from React Native Skia. Basically, uh, it provides three different callbacks. The first one is uh, the on start callback, the on active callback, and the third one is going to be the on end callback. So it's very, very similar to the gesture handler hook from React Native gesture handler version one. So here, let's define for now the on active callback. Let's take the we are going to take them later. So the translation X and the translation Y. And let's assign the translation X to the center X dot current and the translation Y to the center Y dot current. So at this point, we just need to assign this gesture handler um, utility to the touchable circle. So, and we are good to, to go. So 
Here you can see that uh, it is almost working nicely, but it isn't perfect. And that's because, as uh, always, we need to define the context. So here, as we have done a lot of time with the React Native Gesture Handler, we simply define the onStart callback. So here we can access the context. And uh, we can define the context text x equal to center x dot current, context y equal to center y dot current. And we need to add here the context dot x and the context dot y. So um, here you can see that TypeScript is complaining about the fact that we haven't defined the type for, for the context. And in order to do that, we can simply define right here the type. So, of course, here we need to access also the context as a second parameter, and we are good to go. So, you can see that we are able to move the, the circle around the screen. So, to this point, we just need to define the second circle, and we are going to place it in the center of the screen. So, let's force it with the window width, window width divided by 2 window height divided by 2 and the radius is going to simply be radius. So here let's reload and you can see that we have one circle right here and the second one right here. So um, in order to keep things a little bit more colorful let's remove this color right here and let's simply apply a sweep gradient to all the um, other circles. So the sweep gradient uh, is simply a component imported from React Native Skia. Here it's going to accept the center of the gradient. So we are going to import back from React Native Skia and we are going to center it uh, to the top left corner and then it accepts an array of colors and I'm going to use cyan, magenta and cyan. So as you can see, everything is working perfectly. So right now, almost everything has been done. We just need to apply actually the metable effect. So how to do it? In order to do it, we need to group all these components, especially this one, and we need to apply a layer. So let's import group from React Native Skia. Let's drop everything right here. And let's use this layer property. So let's define it. And we are simply going to use the use memo hook from React. And for now, we are going to use the paint from React Native Skia. So let's apply the layer right here. So as you can see, nothing is, is changed since uh, we are not doing anything inside this layer. And uh, right now, first of all, let's apply a blur effect. So let's apply here the blur. In order to apply the blur, I'm importing blur component from React Native Skia. And I can apply here a blur. So you can see that we are able already to see something. And then let's increase it a little bit. So the interesting thing is that by increasing the, the blur, we can almost see the metable effect blurred behind the scenes. And uh, that's actually quite uh, near to the final solution. So the point is that uh, we want actually to um, sharp this uh, interface. We want uh, actually to reveal this uh, blur effect. We want to increase uh, basically the opacity and we want to clamp the uh, remaining opacity. So that's actually a little bit complicated to explain, but we are going to see in a while what I'm talking about. Basically, the secret lies under the co color matrix component from React Native Skia. This color matrix component uh, accepts a single parameter, that is this matrix. And this matrix uh, is uh, basically a matrix that contains the red, green, blue, alpha, and bias. Basically, Copilot is quite uh, um, brilliant uh, in suggestions. And uh, basically, uh, as you can see, we have uh, five parameters. We have the alpha and then the bias. 
So we are going to see in a while uh, what, this all, uh, what this is all about. For now, let's simply apply the um, let's simply apply the uh, identity matrix. So here we go. So here, as you can see, I've simply added the, the prettier ignore comment in order to avoid the, the uh, ugly formatting by default, uh, since I want to keep this uh, matrix uh, structure. So right now, what is the idea? The idea is that we want to increase the opacity of these uh, points, these pixels right here. So basically, by checking out how it was previously with this blur, we can see that, uh, of course, here the opacity, for instance, is equal to 1, and here is equal to 0. So here, basically, all this opacity is equal to 1, So and the outside is, of course, equal to 0. By adding the blur, you can see that, of course, the opacity changes a lot. Here, the opacity is definitely uh, lighter, lighter, lower, actually, than uh, the opacity right here. And uh, we want to increase the opacity on the borders in order to keep this kind of metable effect that seems already available under the hood. So in order to do that, we just need to touch the alpha row, so this value right here, and let's increase it gradually. So here I'm simply increasing the value. And you can see basically that the metaball is revealing itself. So let's inc increase it even more. And the point is that uh, slowly the metaball seems already kind of available. But the point is that we want to keep this metaball transition and uh, we want to get rid at the same time of the strange effects, so on the borders. So in order to um, get rid of these effects, we need to touch the bias, so the offset. And the point is that we need to subtract here um, an amount. So in the, my specific case, uh, I've simply subtracted by 10. And you can see actually that everything seems already to work fine. So. I'm going to explain in a in a while what is going on. So previously it was like that. Here we are simply subtracting the borders. And uh, everything seems already to be working nicely. So honestly you can play a lot with these uh, two values. Basically for instance 60 and 30. And you can see that uh, the metable effect is uh, definitely here. So basically what is happening, uh, we are currently the pixel opacity, we are keeping the pixels that have uh, an opacity that is greater than the blurred opacity, so the initial opacity without the color ma matrix, multiplied by 60. So here, Let's get rid to, the, to that. And then by applying this minus minus 30, we are keeping the pixel opacity that is greater than blurred opacity times 60 minus 30. And that's how we are able to see this uh, metable effect. So just to add uh, a simple detail, let's handle also the on end callback right here. And let's simply add a spring animation so let's drive back the center x to the center and the center y to the center. And here you can see that the effect has been totally implemented. So thanks a lot for staying with me all this time. I know that uh, of course uh, this concept uh, is not that trivial. I'm going to link actually a lot of uh, useful links uh, in order to better understand what is going on here. So feel free to suggest other videos, uh, other ideas uh, in the section below. And uh, if you like this content, feel free to subscribe to this channel.